Hey everyone, in this video we will learn about the different disk types and interfaces available. Okay, so the disk has a media and the media is the physical part of the disk that stores your data. Okay, and the disk also has an interface which is the physical connector that connects the disk to your computer system. Great, okay. So when it comes to the media, we have different media types these days. Uh, the first one we will discussing is, is the HDD. HDD stands for hard disk drive, which is the disk that has a, a mechanical moving part. Um, it has a um, rotating cylinders, which stores the data and an arm with a reading head that moves across these cylinders to read the data. Okay, we also have the SSD, which is the flash media. SSD stands for solid state drive, which is similar to this one. Okay, it has only chips, no moving parts like that one. So less noise and less power consumption and has a much much faster reading and writing performance over the disks with moving parts. Okay, we also have the NVMe, which is also a flash disk. Okay, but it's um, it's a modern uh, technology these days, and it's it has a much faster performance than the SSD. Okay, uh, it looks similar to this, this, and that. Okay, so it, it has a PCIe interface which fits in the storage system or in your server if it supports NVMe. Okay, uh, you may also connect it or mount it on a PCI card similar to this, which is going to connect to be to be connected to the motherboard uh, through one of the PCI slots okay it may also look like this and this one is called the NVMe M.2 okay you may find one uh, like this in your modern laptop with that connector type okay um, the disk comes in different sizes and I, I don't mean here the capacity i mean the form factor the physical size of the disk so it may come in a 2.5 inches or 3.5 inches okay um, ssd is usually in a 2.5 inch similar to to the size of the disk in your laptop maybe okay and the hhd comes could come in 2.5 or 3.5 inches um, the disks with the, um, in a 3.5 inches size may have more capacity than ones in 2.5 inches. But it may depend on the specification of the hardware, of the hardware indeed. Okay, and a disk must have an interface, which is again is the physical connector on the very bottom of the disk that connects it to the storage system. Great. Uh, it comes in a different um, types. There is the IDE, which is a legacy interface. Okay, you can no longer buy a disk with an IDE interface. Okay, so the common interfaces these days are the SAS, SATA, and the PCI interfaces. Great. Uh, but please don't mix the interface type with the media type. Okay, I will explain this in greater detail now. Okay, so um, a HDD disk could come with a either a SAS or a SATA interface similar to those. You could also buy a SSD disk with either a SAS or a SATA interface. For the NVMe, it comes only with PCIe interface since it has a different technology with a faster 
and the greater performance. Okay. Okay, great. And when it comes to the performance, the discs with the SAS interface has a faster performance and the better performance over the ones with the SATA. So if you have a a SSD disk with the SAS interface, it will be faster than the ones with the SATA interfaces. Okay. Okay, so which type of media should you choose with which interface should you choose? Okay, well, it depends on the workload that you're going to put on the disk and run on the disk. Are you going to run a, a, an application that is sensitive to the speed and the latency? Then you should choose a disk, either um, a, a SSD disk or a, a NVMe disk. But again, you should be following the instructions of the application vendor in this case. Okay. You could also store um, backup or archive data maybe, then you will be using SSM, uh, sorry, HDD disks, which has which comes with a larger capacity and a cheaper when it comes to the pricing. Great, let's move forward and uh, have a comparison, a simple comparison between the disk types when it comes to the performance. So in the beginning, let me tell you that a HDD, HDD disk may come with different speeds. Okay, the speeds here are related to the speed of the rotation of these cylinders that stores your data. Okay. So, usually the SATA disks come with 7.2k RPM, rounds per minute. The SAS disks may come in either 10k or 15k. Um, the 15, 15k disks has the highest performance in HDD media types, which is also the most expensive in that tier. Okay, but usually the disks with the higher speed has the has lower disk capacity than the, the disks with the lower um, speeds, rotational speeds. Okay, when it comes to the performance, if you see this simple comparison here, okay, so the NVMe disks has the highest read and write performance power, okay, compared to the disks with the SAS or SATA disks regardless of the media, either it's um, SSD or AHTD. Okay, in this diagram, it compares the performance, or it compares how a traditional disk is connected to the CPU versus the NVMe disks and that explains why the NVMe disks has greater much greater uh, performance over the traditional disks with um, traditional interfaces like SAS and SATA okay so when it comes to disks with SAS or SATA interfaces so the disk is first connected to the SAS controller what the SAS controller is okay it's a um, physical hardware component that connects the disks to the system and manages also manages these disks. Okay, and then the SAS controller as a PCI card is connected to the motherboard and then it connects the disks to the CPU. But, but when it comes to the NVMe, the NVMe has a PCI interface which is directly connected to a PCI slot and then can directly con communicate with the CPU, and that's why it has a much, much, much faster and a greater performance over traditional disks. Okay, in this slide, we will learn about another type of disks, and I prefer to have it in a separate slide. It's the nearline SAS disks. So 
What is a near line test disk? Okay, it's a disk that has uh, the characteristics of SATA disks and it comes with a SAS interface. So a um, near line test disk, by the way, it's, it's a hard disk drive. It has mechanical moving parts. Okay, so what is the SATA characteristics here? Okay, it's the huge capacity that it could support. So it could support up to 14 terabytes of data per disk or even greater maybe in the future, okay, with the SAS interface to be, uh, which makes you able to have it in your uh, storage systems that supports only SAS disks. All right then, we've got to the end of this video. In the next video, we will be discussing the object storage at a glance. I hope this has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Goodbye.